everyone welcome back to my channel today I was just sitting there watching one of Jaclyn Hill's older videos where she's talking about her Morphe palette when it came out last summer and I just got so inspired by her eye makeup in that video and I just wanted to sit down and make something similar to that. So I wouldn't say I recreated her look necessarily. I think hers looked way better, but this eye look is definitely inspired by her eye look in that video. Today we are going to use a combination of three different naked palettes in order to create this eye look. We are going to primarily use the Naked Smoky palette, but also quite a few colors from the Naked 2 palette and a couple colors from the original Naked palette as well. Even though it is March and it is spring, you can still bring out the darker eye colors and the darker lip colors if you would like. So if you like this makeup look and you want to see how to recreate it, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so let's just jump right in. We are going to start by pinning our hair back just to get it out of our face so we don't have to worry about it while we're putting our makeup on. And then we're going to go right in and start by priming our eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. Now normally I like to start with foundation, but when I know that I'm going to be doing a smoky look with a lot of shadow, I do like to start with eyes. Um, that way if any fallout happens, we can clear that up before putting our base on and it makes our base look even more flawless. We are then going to go straight in with the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette and take this shade Combust onto a fluffy brush and put it right through our crease and that will act as our transition shade. We're then going to go into our original Urban Decay Naked Palette and take the shades Naked and Buck and put those right over the shade Combust. This is just going to help our transition shade out a little bit. Next we're taking the shade Suspect from the Naked 2 palette and we're putting that on our ring finger and packing that all over our eyelid. We're then going to take the shade Snake Bite, also from the Naked 2 palette, onto a smaller blending brush and we are going to put that right into the outer portion of our crease and into the inner portion as well, but we're going to concentrate it more on the outer third of the crease. We're then going to take the shade Radar from the Naked Smoky palette and put it on the outer third of our eye and blend that up into the outer third of our crease as well. This next one is one of my favorite shades. We're then going to take the shade Whiskey from the Naked Smoky palette and we're going to lightly put that on the outer third of our eye and blend that up into the outer portion of our crease as well. You don't need a lot of product with this color. It, has, it is very, very pigmented, but it blends so beautifully and just adds extra dimension to the outer part of the eye. Now I kept going back into Whiskey and building up that shade um, until it reached the intensity that I liked. That's a really good technique to ensure that you don't put too much product on. We're then just going to take our fluffy blending brush again and blend that all out. Now this doesn't have any product on it right now. We're just blending out those shades so that there's no harsh lines. Next we're picking up this gorgeous golden shade called Dirty Sweet from the Naked Smoky palette and we're putting that right on the center of our eyelid to add a pop of brightness. Then we're taking the shade High from the Naked Smoky palette and putting that right on the inner third of our eye. This shade is stunning. Then we're taking the Star Looks Pro Luxe Longwear Liner Pen and we are using that to draw on our winged liner. Now normally I really love this eyeliner pen but today it was giving me some grief. It 
took so long to draw on the liner and it was just not smooth at all but I think it's just drying out um, when brand new this liner pen works phenomenally Next, we're taking my new Ico mascara that I got in my March Ipsy Glam bag. If you guys haven't seen that unboxing video, go check it out. I'll have it linked in the description for you. This was the first time I used this mascara, and let me tell you, I was surprised by how much I liked it. I really, really loved it. It fanned out the lashes, and it made them voluminous and gorgeous. Then we're taking my current favorite foundation, the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation in 101 Classic Ivory, and we are just dotting that on half of our face, blending it out with our beauty sponge, dotting it on the other half of our face, blending that part out, and so on and so forth. <laughs> We're then going in with my good old Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in light 10 and we are putting that triangle shape under our eyes to hide our dark circles and we are setting that with our L'Oreal True Match Powder. And then we're going in with my trusty Maybelline Brow Define in dark brown, and we are filling in those eyebrows. We're then going to go back in with our concealer and just dot that on any blemishes we may have and blend that out with our finger to get the maximum coverage on those blemishes as possible. We're then going back into the Naked Smoky palette with the shade Whiskey and putting that on the end of a flat shader brush and smoking out the outer third of that lower lash line. Then we're taking the shade 13 and putting that on the inner corner to add some brightness there. And then we're going to go back into that inner corner with the shade High because it is so gorgeous and adds so much shimmer and brightness and shine and we're putting that right over 13. Then we're taking our good old Ciate Bamboo Bronzer and we are carving out our cheekbones with that, adding a little bit of dimension to the face, a little shape to the face, putting that up in our temples and under our jawline as well. Then we're taking the Balm Springs blush in the shade In Full Swing and we are putting that on the apples of our cheeks just to bring some more color and life back into our face. Now I really didn't want any harsh lines with that bronzer so I just took a fluffy blending brush with nothing on it and I just blended out all of those powders. Then I went in with my highlighter, the Balm Cuckoo Rebichon. I don't, guys, I, I'll never know how to say that shade but it's gorgeous and it is a gorgeous highlight. Putting it on my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, cupid's bow and chin. I'm also using this as my brow bone highlight as well. I actually tried two different lipsticks with this look. I first went in with the Estee Lauder lipstick in the shade Sugar and Honey. And this is kind of a creamy, shimmery, um, almost with an orange tint shade that I thought would complement the brown eyes. And I did really like that, um, but it was a bit too natural for what I was wanting to go for. So um, I ended up going in with a darker shade later on, but this is what the look looks like with that Estee Lauder lip. But I ended up taking that off and putting on the NYX Liquid Suede Liquid Lipstick in the shade Soft Spoken. And I really like how this pulled the whole look together, made it a bit more sultry, but still kind of a darker neutral shade. Well, that is it for today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter if you would like to. All the links will be in the description. Thank you guys again for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
Okay, so I just finished filming this video and I did my outro, finished filming, got up, took my lipstick off, started cooking dinner, and I realized that something that I forgot to put in that I want to make sure I put in this video. So a while back in one of my vlogs, I had mentioned that I was gonna start doing shout outs for smaller YouTubers that I really enjoyed their videos of, but the past two videos, I forgot to put that part in, and this time I really wanted to make sure I put that in. Um, it probably won't be every single video that I do YouTuber shout outs, but for this one, we are doing a shout out. So I just wanna give a shout out to Mal for Snickety. Um, she is actually a friend of David's from back in Oklahoma, and um, he told me about her, so I started watching some of her videos, and she just does really great videos, some makeup videos. She has a series that is her and her boyfriend trying foods from other countries, which I just find so interesting, like, I don't know, I just love watching their reactions for stuff like that and like seeing all the different kinds of snacks that other countries have. So I will link her in the description. I'll, I'll link her most recent video in the description as well. So guys, definitely go check her out. She is great and give her some love and subscribe to her if you haven't already. So this is the official sign off. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.